These destinations captivate with their unique landscapes, vibrant colors, and serene environments, offering unforgettable experiences for all who visit. Join me, I'm counting down the top 15 most incredibly beautiful places on Earth. Starting with number 15, Caño Cristales in Colombia. Rivers worldwide are known for their breathtaking views, but the Caño Cristales in Colombia's Serranía de la Macarena province stands out. It's often called the River of Five Colors, or Liquid Rainbow. It dazzles with vibrant hues of yellow, green, blue, black, and a particularly vivid red. These colors appear thanks to the aquatic plant Macarena clavigera, which blooms under the right conditions from July to November, creating a stunning kaleidoscope effect. This unique phenomenon happens here because Caño Cristales lies at the convergence of three diverse ecosystems, the Andes, the Amazon, and the Orinoco. This crossroads of sorts supports a rich variety of plant life along the river's 60-mile length, which is also marked by waterfalls, rapids, and natural pools. As the visitor numbers have grown here, the Colombian government has implemented strict tourism regulations to protect this delicate ecosystem. Access to the river is restricted, and visitors must be guided to help reduce human impact and preserve the river's beauty for future generations. Number 14, the Bazaruto Archipelago in Mozambique. Off the coast of Mozambique in the Indian Ocean lies the Bazaruto Archipelago, a spectacular chain of six islands known for their stunning natural beauty and biodiversity. These islands, Bazaruto, Benguera, Magaruque, Santa Carolina, Bangue, and Shell Island are celebrated for their white sandy beaches, crystal clear water, and diverse marine life. Established in 1971, this archipelago national park encompasses the surrounding waters to safeguard the area's ecosystem. This reserve is a sanctuary for a variety of species, including the endangered dugong, and more than 2,000 species of fish, five species of dolphins, and several types of shark, such as the whale shark. The area's extensive coral reefs, containing both hard and soft corals, attract snorkelers and divers from around the world. Each island here has its distinct charm. Bazaruto, the largest, is characterized by massive sand dunes, freshwater lakes, and dense vegetation that shelters numerous bird species and other wildlife. Benguera Island offers a blend of sandy beaches, savanna, freshwater lakes, and mangrove forests, providing habitats for diverse creatures. To preserve this pristine environment, though, strict regulations are in place. The islands host a few luxury eco-lodges and resorts that provide exclusive accommodations, allowing visitors to experience this environment while minimizing their impact on it. Number 13, Denali National Park in Alaska, United States. Denali National Park, sprawling over six million acres in central Alaska, serves as a vast sanctuary of wild, pristine wilderness. Originally named Mount McKinley National Park in 1917, it was renamed in 1980 to Denali, the Koyukon Athabascan term for the region's main peak, meaning the High One. Standing at 20,310 feet or 6,190 meters, Denali is the tallest mountain in North America. While Denali is a magnet for climbers worldwide, the park offers much more beyond its towering mountain. Its landscape ranges from lowland taiga forests to high alpine tundra and snowy peaks, providing a dramatic backdrop that supports a rich variety of flora and fauna. Wildlife enthusiasts will encounter grizzly bears, wolves, moose, caribou, doll sheep, and over 160 bird species, including golden eagles and ptarmigans. The park's main road stretches about 92 miles, offering one of the best ways to observe wildlife in a natural setting. It's an ideal destination for outdoor enthusiasts, with trails for all skill levels and numerous campsites. In winter, the landscape transforms into a snowy wonderland, perfect for dog sledding, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. The park's kennels host a team of sled dogs, enhancing the authentic Alaskan adventure for visitors. And Denali's beauty is deeply rooted in its long history of indigenous habitation. The National Park Service collaborates with local native tribes to incorporate traditional knowledge and cultural practices into the park's management, ensuring a respectful and integrated approach that enriches the experiences for everyone. Number 12, Angel Falls, Venezuela. Angel Falls, or Salto Angel in Spanish, stands as the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall. It cascades down the summit of Ayon Tepwe in Venezuela's Canaima National Park. It's located in the Gran Sabana region, plummeting a dramatic 3,200 feet or 979 meters. 
It's named after Jimmy Angel, the American aviator who stumbled upon it in 1933 during a gold hunting expedition. This magnificent waterfall is now part of a UNESCO protected site. The park spans over 30,000 square kilometers and is celebrated for its breathtaking landscapes, diverse ecosystems, and the rich cultural heritage here. Reaching Angel Falls is an adventure of its own, necessitating a flight to Kanaima Camp followed by a river journey on a motorized canoe. This hours-long canoe trip takes you through the dense jungle alongside smaller cascades and down winding rivers, offering intimate encounters with the local flora and fauna. The best time to visit is during the rainy season from June to December, when the rivers are full and the falls are at their most majestic. Upon arriving at the base of Angel Falls, the sheer scale of this natural wonder becomes apparent. The water powerfully tumbles from the cliff's edge, and on sunny days, the mist creates enchanting rainbows. Although the falls have been known about to the wider world for less than a century, they have long been a sacred site for the Paimon people. The Tepui from which the falls descend are among the planet's oldest geological formations, and they hold deep spiritual significance for local communities, believed to be the birthplace of life. Number 11. Gourde, Provence, France Located in the Provence Alps Côte d'Azur region of southeastern France, Gourde is a charming village perched on the southern edge of the Vaucluse Plateau. It is renowned for its stunning views and significant historical background. It's celebrated as one of the most beautiful villages in France, drawing visitors from around the world. The village's setting on the foothills of the Mont de Vaucluse offers a panoramic view of the Luberon Valley. Its narrow cobblestone streets are flanked by traditional stone houses that seamlessly blend into the rocky hills. The surrounding landscape with its lavender fields, olive groves, and vineyards creates a picturesque scene straight out of a painting. Gourde has a rich history that dates back to Roman times, gaining prominence in the Middle Ages when it was fortified against invasions, and many of its ancient stone walls and structures remain intact. The village is dominated by the Chateau here, an 11th century castle rebuilt in the Renaissance style in the 16th century, and it's now home to the Polbara Museum, celebrating the Belgian painter who lived there. Gourde has long been a magnet for artists and creatives, inspired by its stunning landscapes. Numerous galleries and studios throughout the village display the works of both local and international artists, all drawn by enchanting surroundings. Number 10. The Azores in Portugal The Azores, an archipelago of nine volcanic islands in the North Atlantic Ocean, is an autonomous region of Portugal. Located approximately 930 miles west of Lisbon, these islands are often referred to as Europe's hidden gem due to their unspoiled natural beauty and lesser-known status compared to other popular destinations. Each island in the Azores has its unique appeal. São Miguel, the largest island, is noted for its vibrant greenery, volcanic craters, and geothermal activity. The Sete Chidages twin lakes nestled in a large volcanic crater display stunning hues of blue and green. Nearby, the Furnash Valley offers a hot springs and beautiful Terra Nostra botanical garden. Pico Island is famous for Mount Pico, Portugal's highest peak and a dormant volcano, and its UNESCO World Heritage listed vineyard culture developed in unique basaltic lava fields. Fayal is known for its blue hydrangeas and the the Azores coastlines are ideal for whale and dolphin watching, with nutrient-rich waters attracting diverse marine life. The island also offers exceptional snorkeling and diving spots, featuring manta rays, moray eels, and vibrant fish. Influenced by Portuguese heritage, the Azores host numerous festivals in São Miguel. Local culture is rich with traditional music, dance, and cuisine, making it the perfect place to savor fresh seafood, volcanic wine, and a dish of meat and vegetables slow-cooked using geothermal heat. Number 9. Banff National Park in Canada Banff National Park, established in 1885 as Canada's first national park, spans over 2,500 square miles of protected wilderness in Alberta's Rocky Mountains. It's recognized as part of the Canadian Rocky Mountain Parks, UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is famed for its rugged mountain landscapes, glacial lakes, and diverse wildlife. Each year, millions of people are drawn to experience one of the world's most awe-inspiring natural settings. The lakes, especially Lake Louise, with its turquoise waters against the backdrop of snow-capped peaks and Victoria Glacier, are a major attraction. The town of Banff, situated within the park, serves as a bustling tourist hub with a variety of shops, restaurants, and galleries. It's an ideal base for exploring the park's natural wonders for a relaxing experience. The Banff Upper Hot Springs offers thermal pools with mountain vistas, and alternatively, the Banff Gondola Ride provides a scenic ride up Sulphur Mountain, offering panoramic views over Bow Valley and the town below. 
In the summer, the park is perfect for hiking, mountain biking, rock climbing, and wildlife viewing. The park transforms into a winter wonderland ideal for skiing, snowboarding, and ice climbing, with several world-class ski resorts like Sunshine Village and Lake Louise Ski Resort, offering slopes for all levels. Number 8. Monteverde Cloud Forest in Costa Rica Costa Rica, largely covered in rainforest, offers many landscapes, but Monteverde Cloud Forest stands out as a prime example. Located in a mountainous region in northwest Costa Rica, this cloud forest is part of an area that sprawls across approximately 26,000 acres at an elevation of about 4,700 feet. The unique ecosystem here is characterized by a persistent cloud cover created by high altitude and warm, moist air currents, which nourishes an incredibly diverse array of vegetation. Home to over 3,000 plant species, including orchids, bromeliads, and mosses, the forest also supports more than 100 mammal species, 400 bird species, including the colorful, revered, resplendent quetzal, and numerous insects, alongside jaguars, ocelots, and the elusive Baird's tapir. Established in 1972, the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve enforces strict guidelines to minimize any human impact, featuring carefully designed trails, canopy walks, and zip lining adventures, contributing to the protection of this vital ecosystem. Moving on to number 7, Maasai Mara in Kenya. The Maasai Mara National Reserve in southwestern Kenya stands as a beacon of wildlife conservation in Africa, encompassing approximately 583 square miles of vast savanna. The reserve is perhaps best known for the annual Great Migration, often regarded as one of the seven natural wonders of the world. From July to October, over one and a half million wildebeest, along with hundreds of thousands of zebras and gazelles, traverse from the Serengeti into the Maasai Mara in pursuit of fresh pastures. This spectacle draws predators, including lions, cheetahs, and crocodiles, setting the stage for some of nature's most thrilling encounters. Home to the Big Five, lions, elephants, buffaloes, leopards, and rhinoceros, it offers one of the densest lion populations worldwide. Its open savannas and dotted acacia trees provide perfect conditions for cheetahs and over 470 bird species like the lilac-breasted roller and various raptors, adding to the region's biodiversity. The reserve also plays a significant role in human cultures. It's named after the Maasai people, known for their distinctive customs and deep connection to the land. This blend of natural wonder and cultural heritage, underpinned by a robust conservation effort, makes the Maasai Mara a vital sanctuary for wildlife and a cornerstone of Kenyan heritage. Number 6. Napali Coast, Hawaii The Napali Coast on Kauai's northwest shore is one of Hawaii's most breathtaking landscapes, stretching about 16 miles and featuring dramatic sea cliffs, lush valleys and cascading waterfalls, and untouched beaches. These cliffs, some rising as high as 4,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean, are an example of the ancient volcanic activity, erosion, and geological changes that have shaped this terrain, aptly named Napali, or the Cliffs in Hawaiian. Due to its remote nature, access to the coast is limited, preserving its condition. It's inaccessible by road and can only be explored through hiking, boating, or helicopter tours. The Kalalau Trail, an 11-mile trek from Ke'e Beach to Kalalau Beach, offers hikers spectacular views of the cliffs, valleys, and ocean. Boat tours along the coast provide a maritime perspective, with opportunities to observe the rich marine life and get up close and personal to the sea caves and cliffs. During migration season, it's common to see dolphins here, sea turtles, and humpback whales. Helicopter tours offer a unique aerial view, revealing the vast scale of this landscape and highlighting remote areas, including the Hawaiian agricultural terraces and temples. These varied perspectives showcase the Napali's coast's extraordinary natural beauty and its significance in Hawaiian heritage. Number 5. The Atacama Desert in Chile the Atacama Desert, located in northern Chile, is one of the driest and most extreme environments on Earth. Stretching for over 620 miles from the Pacific coast to the Andes Mountains, it is renowned for being the world's driest non-polar desert, with some areas that have never recorded rainfall. This has created a stark, arid landscape that is surprisingly rich in biodiversity and features landscapes unlike any other rugged mountains and lava flows. The Salar de Atacama, one of the largest salt flats in the world, is a highlight covering more than 1,100 square miles. This area, dotted with shallow lagoons, is frequented by pink flamingos and also harbors significant lithium deposits, crucial for our modern battery technology. 
Other notable features include the Valley of the Moon, known for its lunar-like terrain and dramatic sunsets. During rare rainfall, the desert blooms with vibrant wildflowers transforming the landscape dramatically. The Atacama is also an astronomical paradise. Its high altitude and clear, cloudless skies make it an ideal location for observing the stars. It's home to several leading observatories like the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. The desert, it offers unmatched stargazing experiences. Number 4. Pulau Tioman, Malaysia Pulau Tioman is a serene island located off the east coast of Malaysia in the South China Sea. It's known for its natural beauty, diverse marine life, and rich cultural heritage. The island has rugged mountains, dense jungles with Gunung Kajang, the highest peak providing popular trekking routes through lush rainforests. It's home to wildlife like monitor lizards and long-tailed macaques. Tioman's beaches are among the world's most beautiful, with crystal clear water and vibrant marine ecosystems just offshore. Salang Beach attracts backpackers and divers with its dynamic atmosphere, while Wara Beach offers a more relaxed vibe with its expansive stretches of white sand. The local Malay communities, such as those in Tekek, Wara, and Salang, offer insights into traditional lifestyles centered around fishing and agriculture. The cuisine here is a delicious exploration of Malay flavors, featuring dishes like nasi lemak and grilled fish. Visitors are encouraged to engage with the community through local festivals and cultural performances. The island's marine parks, too, managed by the Malaysian government, play a vital role in conserving the surrounding coral reefs and ensuring the marine environment continues to thrive, supporting both the local community and the diverse species that inhabit there. Number 3. Ha Long Bay in Vietnam Ha Long Bay, nestled in the northeastern part of Vietnam in the Gulf of Tonkin, is celebrated as one of the world's most spectacular natural wonders. Spanning about 590 square miles, this UNESCO World Heritage Site captivates millions of people with its emerald waters, towering limestone islands, and lush rainforests. The bay is renowned for its 1,600 limestone islands and islets that rise majestically from the sea, shaped over millions of years by natural forces. These formations have sparked numerous legends, with Ha Long translating to Descending Dragon, a nod to the ancient myth of dragons sent by the gods to defend the land. Exploring Ha Long Bay is best done by boat. Various cruises offer journeys from day trips to longer voyages, allowing visitors to weave through the archipelago and visit iconic spots like Sung Sat Cave and Titop Island. The bay's floating villages like Kua Van and Vong Vieng provide a glimpse into the traditional lives of the fishing communities here. Visitors can immerse themselves in local culture, trying traditional fishing techniques and visiting homes and schools on the water. Archaeological findings reveal that the bay's long human history, supported by its rich marine biodiversity, this stunning location not only offers a refuge for a plethora of species, but also stands as an example of human resilience and beauty. Number 2. Redwood National Park in California Redwood National Park, located along the northern California coast, encompasses a landscape many consider North America's most awe-inspiring. Established in 1968 and merged with three state parks, it covers over 138,000 acres, dominated by coast redwoods, the tallest trees on Earth. These ancient trees, soaring over 370 feet and living for over 2,000 years, create a near-sacred atmosphere beneath a dense canopy that bathes the forest floor in an ethereal light. The redwoods, coastlines, and river ecosystems here support a diverse array of wildlife, including Roosevelt elk, black bears, and the elusive marbled merlet. The undammed Smith River enhances the landscape too, nurturing salmon and steelhead trout populations. Visitors can explore the park's majesty through numerous trails, including the Tall Trees Grove Trail, home to some of the tallest specimens, or the Coastal Trail, which offers stunning views of cliffs, secluded beaches, and tidal pools. Conservation here is a park cornerstone, aimed at protecting these primeval trees and restoring areas affected by past logging, ensuring that these redwoods and their ecosystem endure for future generations. Number 1. La Digue, Seychelles La Digue stands out as a serene jewel in the Seychelles archipelago, located about 31 miles northeast of Mahe, but it feels worlds apart in its tranquil seclusion. 
known for some of the most beautiful beaches globally, it epitomizes a tropical paradise here. On Source de Jant, famed for its white sands, turquoise waters, and distinctive granite boulders, tops the list of must-visit beaches, offering perfect conditions for swimming and snorkeling. Beyond its stunning shores, it also appeals to nature enthusiasts with its lush forest interior. The Voeve Natural Reserve protects the endangered Seychelles Black Paradise flycatcher, offering trails for visitors to observe these rare birds. La Digue's relaxed lifestyle, where bicycles and ox carts are the main transport modes, complements the natural beauty, allowing visitors to leisurely explore the island's beaches, villages, and natural wonders. The island's rich Creole culture is showcased in its cuisine, architecture, and traditions, with local dishes and vibrant community life inviting visitors to immerse themselves. The surrounding coral reefs here, too, are vibrant with marine life, making La Digue an ideal spot for snorkeling in pristine water ensuring a truly enchanting experience in one of the most unspoiled settings on Earth. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.